Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to make this card, sympathy card. Pretty simple, but I think it's very pretty for a sad occasion. Okay, um, for the card stock, we are going to need a piece of the thick whisper white that is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a fourth. And then a piece of the, what is this called? Birthday Bouquet Designer Series Paper, um, five and a half by four and a half. And then you're gonna cut out one of these little flowers. Um, Any one will do, just from the paper. And then for the inside, a piece that is a half by five and a fourth. We're going to use the Rose Wonder stamp set with the matching thinlets. I don't have these on my um, magnet yet. I think I have to order some more. I think I'm out. That tells you I have too many. <laughs> and then we're going to need another scrap of Whisper White. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of Whisper White and hold it and give it a good crease with our bone folder. And then we're going to take our piece of designer series paper with some of the green glue. Just green because it's got green on the container. And I want to try and get this up to the edge. Not so that it's gobbing out, of course, but so that the ends stay down. And then I just take this and this. And since they're the same size, I butt them up together. And then hopefully they fit good. Looks pretty good. Okay. Then for the little flower, like I said, all I did is I took a paper, piece of paper snips, the, my paper snips, and I just took one of the flowers and fussy cut around them. This one, I cut these off. I, did, I only cut the flower and the leaves. I mean, that's just, that would be too much. And it would come right off. When you put it in the envelope, I, it would rip right off, I think. So we're going to take our piece, our scrap piece of Whisper White and our Watermelon Wonder, is that what that's called? Yep, ink. And we're going to ink up this little frame here. Sorry, I had something on my screen and I thought it was on my um, cardstock. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this to the big shot and I'm going to use this one and cut that out and then I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. Next, we're going to... off Ooh, took the whole thing off there is oh happy birthday we don't want that Let's see we want the with sympathy lined up here. All right. Let me 
it again. All right, I'm gonna have to bring this closer. Too bad. All right, so the other thing we're going to need is the gold doilies, and I accidentally cut two <laughs> when I was. It's on, it's right down here. I don't know if you even noticed, it's right here. And when I cut them in half, I accidentally cut two in half. But you only need this much because you're just going to glue it right here like this. So we will take some fast fuse. And put this on here. Take a little more fast fuse and put the flower on here. Okay, like that. And then we will take some dimensionals. on here and this just goes right in the middle of the card Okay, just like that, and then we are going to take a little Wink of Stella, and this is the gold, and I'm just going to do the center of the little flowers. Kind of where it's already gold. see this one but we'll put a little on here too there we go see it a little bit just gives a little bit of shimmer got some of the gold sequins from the roll of sequins and I just cut some cut a little length off and then pull the sequins off of the string and I'll use my fine tip glue for that and I'm going to use my quick stick again to see where I want to put them.
Okay, I guess that looks all right. So, I'm just going to pick this up. Sorry, there's a shadow there. Ooh, I got a little much glue on that one. I'm just going to remind you now that it's celebration time and for every $50 that you order, you get to pick a free celebrations item. There's no limit. You can order as many times as you want to. Um, every $50 counts clearance rack weekly deals, everything. You can order that over um, on my website. Okay. And we'll close this up. And we will stamp the inside of our card um, with the You're in My Thoughts and Prayers. And then we're going to take our last little piece of designer series paper, the half by five and a fourth. Put some fast fuse on there. going to go right at the bottom trying to leave a border a even size border which I did not do on all three sides but not bad okay so that is it there's this one and that one if you have any questions please let me know all the supplies can be ordered um, through my website at www.happystamp.stampinup.net. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.